to wet tonight. Tuesday is NBC game night. Drop it! First, it's the wall where dreams are made. Yeah! Oh this is a record. There's no better feeling than winning. Then, who among you is dum 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 dum? Who will be the weakest link? I'm looking at your names. Din Quit. <laughs> I call them as I see them. Game night. Tuesday on NBC. NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. That breaking news, heavy fog complicating the search for a downed plane reported missing tonight in the Beverly Crest area. But crews are struggling to find it. In fact, it is so foggy they can't search by helicopter. So at this point, it's all up to the boots on the ground. Let's get right to NBC4's Macy Jenkins live at the scene with the latest update. Macy. Hi, Kathy and Jonathan. We're here on Mulholland near Clarendon. And let me just step aside so you can see all of these fire engines that are lining the road, just a string of red lights. We've learned that nearly 50 Los Angeles firefighters are looking for that downed plane. They have not found it. And of course, that problem is because of this very dense um, fog, this, it's very low to the ground. You can hardly see anything just a few feet in front of you. Now, just before 8 o'clock, that's when air traffic control asked Los Angeles Fire Department to check a mountainous area near Mulholland and Stone Canyon Road after they reportedly lost radar con contact with a small single engine plane and aircraft. Now that plane was believed to be traveling between Santa Monica Airport and Van Nuys Airport. LA Fire says though there were no 911 calls. Now the fire department helicopters and ground crews searched the region for an hour before they picked up on an emergency radio beacon within a quarter mile of Beverly Glen Terrace. And around 10 p.m., we got an alert from L.A. Fire Department saying that the fog was too thick to continue searching with that helicopter in the air. So now they are relying on the ground crews. L.A. Fire Department is working with the FAA air traffic controllers at Van Nuys Airport, Burbank Airport, and LAX. They're also working with the pilot's cell phone company to try to to pinpoint that plane again you can see thing because they couldn't see anything they were blocking off the road because there were cars that were pulling over I actually talked to a man who said he was on his way to go to dinner with his wife and he started getting alerts he's part of a local scanner group and they track aircrafts and uh, planes in the region he said he was looking for the plane but of course he didn't have any uh, any you know mat any better materials than the fire department has and then you see this entire scene so again 50 firefighters looking for that down plane. They have not seen anything yet because of how dense this fog is. That's the very latest here on Mulholland Drive. I'll send it back to you in the studio. All right. Good information. Thank you, Macy. We'll stay on top of it, bring you the very latest. As Macy just mentioned, there is heavy fog in Southern California tonight. In fact, you're looking at Universal Studios. This was around eight this evening. And now let's take a look live at what it looks like outside right now. Not much better in some spots. Meteorologist Stephanie Elmo joins us with your first First alert forecast, Stephanie. Yeah, foggy conditions. We had the fog develop pretty quickly, and we saw it earlier in the newscast over the skyline of downtown Los Angeles. As we check out, we're dealing with the fog, especially right along the coastal areas. This will continue to move in as we head into late tonight. Let's check out the visibility because visibility is continuing to drop, especially west of the mountains. Uh, for instance, less than 10 miles around downtown Los Angeles and Long Beach, but certainly a lot lower in LAX. We're down to just less than a mile there. So this is the view of LAX where we clearly are seeing the foggy conditions here uh, right now. We can expect the low clouds, especially foggy conditions to continue here late tonight into the overnight hours starting up tomorrow morning. So that's something we'll be dealing with, especially in areas right along the coast and even spots further inland. For example, the valley spots for tomorrow. Slightly cooler temperatures will be on top, cooler than what we experienced here today. Increasing clouds on top for Monday. This is out ahead of a storm system. We do have the possibility.